The Defence Procurement Board of Indian Ministry of Defence has cleared the procurement of 26 Rafale Marine fighter jets, and an official announcement regarding the procurement will take place during Prime Minister Modi's visit to Paris, and it is certain that India will push for more local production and sourcing of parts for Rafale jets as well as its weapons. The Indian Navy will get 26 single-seater Rafale Marine aircraft and will utilize the seven twin-seat Rafale trainers of the Indian Air Force for pilot training purposes. The Navy order will also elevate the collective Indian Rafale fleet strength to 62 aircraft. Alongside a comparable weapons package to the Indian Air Force fleet, the Indian Navy's Rafale Marine will come with AM-39 Exocet anti-ship missiles. The Indian Navy had initially supported the purchase of three additional Calvary class submarines, but necessitating budgetary considerations, the Ministry of Defence is reportedly considering a reduced order due to the ongoing Project 75I plan, which involves the procurement of six more submarines. Latest reports indicate that India and France will hold discussions regarding the manufacturing of one or two Calvary class submarines in India, as well as collaboration to develop six nuclear attack submarines for the Indian Navy. The Ministry of Defence is all set to decide on the selection of a partner for 120 kN jet engine development, and this crucial step is expected to occur before the AMCA program receives official clearance from the Cabinet Committee on Security in September. The Defence Ministry is keen on expediting the engine partner selection process, to avoid any delays in the development of the new engine, that could potentially impede the progress of the AMCA program, as the performance and capabilities of the aircraft will heavily rely on the power and efficiency of the engine. The RDO's Armament Research and Development Establishment has started development of a 155mm next-generation hyper-velocity ram gun. This projectile aims to revolutionize gun systems by offering a common low dragon guided solution capable of executing multiple missions. The hyper-velocity ram gun projectile is designed to provide increased velocity maneuverability and performance enhancements to existing and future gun systems, while also adapting to current and future threats. India's leading anti-drone maker Zen Technologies has bagged an export order for the supply of counter-unmanned aircraft systems worth 340 crore rupees from a friendly nation. Zen Technologies has also received another order from the government of India worth 160 crore rupees, which is part of the government's indigenous design and development initiative. A U.S. Navy ship Salvor has arrived at Larsen and Tubro Limited shipyard near Chennai for repair work, which makes it the third ship to conduct a mid-voyage repair, under the five-year master ship repair agreement between the U.S. Navy and l &T. China has commenced deliveries of the Z-10ME attack helicopters to Pakistan, and this decision comes after Pakistan was unable to procure Turkish T-129 attack helicopters. Pakistan had initially rejected the inferior Chinese option in favor of the T-129, however, due to the American refusal to sell engines for the T-129, Pakistan was compelled to place an order for the Chinese Z-10ME, 